Hey guys, it's Andres and today I'm gonna talk about portfolios, I'm gonna talk about apprentice portfolios and also about the two artist portfolios. So why you need portfolio? It's something when you go to studio, it's to showcase your work. So if you are looking for apprenticeship, you definitely need to get portfolio together and you need to go around the studios, show it to the people and ask for apprenticeship really. So here I have some of my portfolios and I'm gonna showcase them a little bit and I'll tell you what's wrong with them. And then I'm gonna also go through a few tips to make your portfolio a lot better. So this portfolio here is not really the one that I was walking around studios and searching for a job. This is something what I already put it on when I was working for a few years and when I was like moving studios. I wanted to put together like a load of my work so I can kind of display in the studio as well so the, the customers can see it when I actually work in studio. I was always keeping portfolio with me so they can kind of check what work I do. Yeah, it's pretty like messy kind of designs. I actually, I think I tattooed all of these pieces uh, at some point. I was actually color artist and a lot of traditional designs and a lot, a lot of stuff like this. That's what something what I was doing a lot. When I was tattooing already for maybe three, four years. And you can see some lettering as well there. And I think this is not really the best portfolio to present when you searching for a job because everything is quite messy. I wanted to make something a little bit different with this one because I already had a job so I kind of was kind of more like making something artistic more. Because all of those pieces were in different sheet of pages, I couldn't really put them all together easily so I kind of like just teared them out and displayed them like this. So yeah, that's about with this one. It's not the best example of portfolio. And the other I have here is kind of finished designs, more like flash work what I was doing. Completely different as well to what I do now. As you can see, it's like all like really 2000s and like really new school style and really, really colorful. This was more like a flash work what I was like putting in like flat displays as well for people to choose what they want to do and what they want to get. I haven't done a lot of these actually myself, only a few of those. When you go to studio with a portfolio, you need to really keep all designs together, nice and clean. Don't make anything like this messy. Just kind of keep them in a nice and clean folder so you can present it nicely. Try to keep a lot of variation of different type of work in it because it's really important. If you're searching for apprenticeship, it probably will be some street shop. They will probably want you to do everything, so every single style. You can kind of see that in this portfolio, like I have like traditional designs and I have also like more cartoony and black and gray and color designs, lettering and you know like roses, a lot of lot of stuff. So if you're searching for apprenticeship you kind of need to show that you can do a lot of things. Maybe all of them not gonna be the best things what you do. At least you can show that you are good at like a lot of different things and that will be really helpful for you and for your portfolio. Also if you do some digital work definitely put that one in portfolio as well. Print out maybe a few pages and add that one because that will be super helpful because apprentices they a lot of times they do help customers as well with tattoo designs and with digital work and here I put together the one portfolio what I think it should look like don't mind the cover this is what I would suggest to you if you go to studios like nice clean work on every single page different kind of type of work and it all looks like nice and clean it shows your skills of course keep like a little bit more variation because this is all like only my style things what I do now. Kind of nice and clean and here I add some some of the two digital sketches what I've done. So you can add probably a lot more of digital work in your portfolio also with your artwork. And here's just some lettering sketches what I like quickly sketched. Try to keep portfolio maybe not too big as well. Maybe like 20, 20 of your works, maybe like 25. You know, just few pages of your works, few digital paintings or digital work and few sketches as well. If you've done some like paintings, you work on like bigger canvas or you're doing sculptures or something like that. Or maybe if you are a graffiti artist as well, take some photos of your work and put them in portfolio where you go to search for a job. Because then you can kind of show, show them what you are capable of and what you do as well. Not only draw on the pages, you know, you can also do other type of artwork and that will be really helpful for sure. And if you're going around to search for apprenticeship, why is it uh, important to keep it clean and to keep it simple? Don't take like 200 of pages of your work because they're not gonna really look through them. They're just only gonna check few 10, 20 pieces and that will be enough information for them to decide if you are like good or not so good. But of course you can always say that you have a lot more drawings. You can prepare maybe a few more kind of bigger folders with even more drawings. If they request for you, you can always showcase more drawings if, if they are interested in you. And when you show 
showing portfolios to the studios, also get some cards and leave the card with them, with your email, with your phone number, with maybe online link to your portfolio as well, and just leave them in studio. Maybe they say they don't have time for you right now, um, they don't have time to check your portfolio and they say just leave a card or if they don't even ask for a card, just leave it there anyway. I'm pretty sure some of those guys gonna check out online and if they will like what they see, they will definitely ring you back or email you. Maybe you can go from there. I think that's about it for the apprentice portfolio. Just again, keep it clean. When you go to studios, just be polite, you know, dress nicely and be cool about everything what they say. They give you some like, crap about how bad is your portfolio, just respect it, you know, and work harder and try next time. Try even harder to prove that they are wrong. And another thing in this video, I want to show the tattooers portfolio and I want to go a little bit through that one as well. It's more for artists who are already tattooing and maybe they're searching for another studios. I know a lot of stuff is online now, online portfolios and online job offers and stuff when you don't even need to turn to the studio you can get a job just like by emailing them for some of those people who really still need to go out and for the smaller towns maybe not the city center maybe for smaller towns you still need to go there with your portfolio and you need to showcase everything what you have for those artists as well just keep it simple print it out like nice pieces of your artwork on, on one folder a good thing is to keep a folder you can just swap them around you can like take some pieces out and put the newer stuff in so just keep it like something like this with your drawings and with some digital work because i'm pretty sure you've done some digital work if you are artist and some of your sketches as well keep it simple don't do too much of work just a little bit but also you will need to have the photos of your work and that's really important i, I wanted to show you one of my earliest portfolios what i was searching job with and what's wrong with it i can go through it as well this is kind of how it looked like it's really similar how i presented this one with like kind of putting my work on the on the old newspaper. This one was actually putting my work inside the book. There's like a lot of my tattoo work. But the problem with this one is firstly, it looks really messy. It looks like you're not clean tattooer. And also they're really small. You can't even see the details or anything in these. Again, this is like some of my earlier work when I was doing color. Definitely don't do anything like this. If you're already tattooing and you have some tattoo portfolio, you can print out in a big A4 sheets and you can maybe put them inside with your drawings inside here, some of your work, or you can print out one of these like portfolio books. What I have, this is like one of my oldest one. Problem with this one is that it's glossy pages, so it's really, really shiny. Pages are really kind of not really good. They're all like you, you need to keep pressing to even check something out and it's the glare is just like ridiculous. So this is definitely not a good one for presenting your work. This is the other one I had for some of the conventions. This is a little bit better because it actually it sits flat so it's really easy to display your work on conventions or even to take to the studios because they can then flick through the work and they can see what you do and it's really nice and clean. Every page has only one piece. The one problem with this one is that it has like some Photoshop, like I, I did like the darkness all around and it kind of makes you think that it's all a little bit photoshopped, all those designs and it's, it's not really kind of like originals. I know a lot of people still do and a lot of big artists still do that kind of stuff. And this is my latest portfolio, like this. I printed it on, on this page so you can kind of flick like this. And that's really good and handy for conventions as well. And with this one, it's like nice and clean. You can still see the old background of the studio or just white for the background, what I used. It doesn't have any like Photoshop, like editing around it. So it's like nice and clean and it looks great. But this one actually, the printing company, we, we rushed it a little bit and the printing company did print it a little bit too dark, but still it kind of looks great and it's nice and clean portfolio for you. And if you're searching for a job and you walk in, into a studio with nice and clean drawing portfolio and nice and clean tattoo portfolio and your business card and everything, then they will know that you are serious about your disposition, that you are legit, you are like clean and everything and you can present yourself nicely hopefully they will give you a job and like and hopefully that will work out for you all right i hope this video was helpful you get to learn a little bit more about portfolios i hope you will get your apprenticeship i hope you will get your job as a tattoo artist if you're trying to change a studio or you're trying to move somewhere else i wish you all the best of luck and don't lose the hope and you know keep on moving and if i forgot to mention something Please ask me on comments below. I'll try to my best to answer all of you guys. As well, before asking me something, try to flick through the comments and try to read them below because possibly I already gave the answer to your questions. And I'll see you next time.